Hey guys, this is GamerCow. Welcome back to Diddy Kong Racing. We're in the final part here because I'm going to just finish everything off here. We basically have the trophy race to do and what was spoiling in the last one because it's forced as a cutscene thing. Basically, we've got to go take on Wispig again as well because we need to get rid of him for good because he only left into the space that's just outside the freaking world. So, you know. We really need to do something about that, and the way we're going to do that is by beating him in a race. What else are we going to do? You know, it's Diddy Kong racing after all. It's not like it's Diddy Kong fighting or anything, jeez. But anyway, I know we've already seen these races twice, we've already seen them all like twice or three times before I finish up, you know, that's just the way it goes, so... Yeah, I guess we've just got to soldier on and do this anyway because if we don't then we're not going to get a chance to see the ending and we really do want to see the ending right well I hope so because that's what's gonna happen anyway whether you want it or not <laughs> so regarding stuff to talk about I don't really know I guess this this game's been a lot easier than I remember it being but you know Maybe it's just the last time I tried to do this, I was um, kind of only just from knowing how to do the, you know, the boost stuff that I've been doing the entire time. So it wasn't, uh, it wasn't something I was particularly great at, in you know, before. It's always been something I've loved, and you know, Diddy Kong Racing as a game, and it's always been one which I have had a lot of fun doing, but it's not necessarily been one I've been amazing at in terms of getting really quick times and things before knowing, you know, stuff recently. So, yeah, it's, it's not really a whole lot to say to it other than that, it's just, yeah, kind of there, and it's, it's a very cool game, I would definitely play it if you get the chance, but yeah, it's not as hard as I remember it being. <laughs> that's, all, that's what I'm really trying to say here. Anyway, just very quickly adjusting myself before the next race. There are, of course, some exceptions to stuff. Like, this race is a fair bit harder than a lot of them, because it, the AI is just actually pretty good at this one. I think it's mostly because of the lack of boosts in comparison to some of the other races. So, there isn't actually as many opportunities to get very far ahead of them here. And because of the nature of the terrain, it's not an easy course to get the boosts uh, to give you more benefits either. So, you know, how, um... It's not easy to use the let go of accelerator trick in this stage. That's what I'm trying to say. Because the course is so bumpy, when you go over hills and things, the trick is less effective. So... Yeah, there's not as much scope for that, and as I've already said before, the AI is technically faster than you, so not easy, really not easy, but it's okay, it's okay enough to front run this one. I'm just going to skip that booster actually, because I don't really need it, but look how freaking weird that, um, that jump was there, seriously. And I have a snare bubble, so screw whoever gets hit by that one. I don't need those bananas, I already have 10, so I'm just going to avoid them. There's no point deliberately slowing myself down for it, and I'm going to use my booster right at the end of the lap, because that is just cool. I get more out of it if I use it there, so yeah. Anyway, nice little shot by a laser ball thing, I suppose. That's not really nice in the slightest, but you know, I'm going to try and pretend that it is. Because we've got to keep this um, somewhat friendly, right? You know, a friendly rivalry between laser shooting guy and um, turtle is not bad, right? Okay, maybe it is, and I'm just, um, you know, trying to make light of what I shouldn't be, but still. Anyway, it's not hard. It's not hard to stay ahead once you are ahead, because they don't tend to be able to shoot you with very much stuff. So, so long as you are sensible and do not crash, you are okay. So that we are now eight points ahead. That's pretty freaking awesome. 
Now, Star City is actually the third race, as we've just been announced here, so a little bit delayed for that, but yeah, it's, um, it's actually race number three. Kind of like uh, the hovercraft races always took precedence and everything, they, they like to change the order around for trophy races and whatnot. I have no idea why, but they do, so yeah. Anyway, I'm going to be a jerk, and I'm going to put that straight after the boost just to slip up anybody who goes over it. You know, that's just what you can really do. Maybe that's why people like this course so much. So many ways of being the jerk on it. <laughs> I was kind of hoping I would get the blue balloon there, but it wasn't to be, so yeah. Not that it really makes a difference anyway, because we're going to stay far enough ahead, so who cares? Anyway, I guess the last thing that I'm probably going to end up um, talking about it again during the credit stuff, but the last thing I suppose, this is just one of those games that if you've grown up with it as I have, it's absolutely phenomenal, super mega nostalgia to come back to, and as I've said before, the physics of it just make it feel like one of the best um, racing games I've ever played. There are, there are of course some glitches to it which make it a little bit... Um, less stellar in places, but overall it's just absolutely amazing. If only they had um, decreased the sensitivity of the hovercraft a little bit, because seriously, that's just a little bit too far. But you know, there's, there's flaws in every game, and I am very glad I had that shield, because that mine would have been a jerk, and it would not have given me the time of day very effectively. I pray for whoever gets hit by that bubble, because honestly, although they're going to freaking take years to get to it, so really now. I think I finished in pretty much the exact same like distance ahead of them in all three times I did that race. That's kind of incredible. And now Spaceball Alpha, I don't even need to win this, to be honest. I'm that far ahead of them in points that it does not matter. But, of course, we will be trying to win anyway, because why would I not be trying to win this? And I just managed to shoot somebody with a rocket in the plane. That's actually kind of hard to do. So, yeah, rockets are surprisingly hard to aim when you are not um, in a car. Even when you're in a car, they can be annoying to aim, but the whole thing of using them during a power slide is just awesome. So, yeah, easily forgivable. And do not get shot, Mr. Tip Top, because there's balloons that you don't want to get shot before collecting. I don't know why those two are linked, but apparently they are, so we'll deal with that, and I'll get myself hit on there. But it's fine, because I've recovered, and technically I'm still ahead, and that's all that really matters. Even though freaking what's his jerk face Diddy is right close to me, doesn't make a difference, because I'm going down here, and he is going to get further behind now. Now... It's one thing I haven't really done during the play, because I've not really noticed it making a significant difference, is that, um, you know, the little barrel roll thing which I did before, is um, tapping, you know, left or right twice, and it's that thing. Left or right twice, and, you know, basically when you're tapping left and right, you um, or holding left and right even, you can use the R button, hit that twice, and you do a little barrel roll type thing. It actually does seem to increase your speed if you have a look there, but I've never really gotten very much out of it. When I, when I was doing time trials, I was always getting myself to go just as fast, if not faster, quite often doing faster laps when I wasn't using that. So, I don't know, maybe it's only with the faster characters that it makes a significant difference, but yeah, that's why I've not really been doing that ever. And look at that, I ended up 21 points ahead. 21! Only in Diddy Kong Racing. Good god. Well, yeah, because F-Zero GX would put you more points ahead, but still, only Diddy Kong Racing out of this sort of style of game would give you a 21 point lead in four races. Good god. Now, now that we have done that, let us go ahead and finish the game, because we can, yeah, we can go ahead and do it. So, it's a plane race, it's actually easier than the original one in my opinion, so who knows, but again, it's mirror mode, so it might throw up a couple of challenges here and there. I should have got the better boost off of that, but even though he starts really early, he takes a long time to accelerate, so he won't get ahead of you until around about here, if he does at all, but it looks like he hasn't this time. 
Now, if you go below, there is a rocket, but if you go up, there is the blue balloon, and that just makes this ridiculously easy. So go ahead and grab that balloon, and this one over here. Also, don't hit the electricity if you can avoid it, because like he's just done there, it does actually slow you down a little bit, and it does, um... Yeah, it does spin you out and knock you down a bit. Now, get this balloon over here and use it as soon as you enter here. It is exceptionally easy to get hit during that bit, and the shield is basically the only way you're really going to give yourself adequate protection against that section. So yeah, there's also no bananas in this one, so you don't need to worry about that. However, you still don't really want to get shot, for the obvious reasons of getting shot will slow you down, but yeah, it's really not that hard a race, to be honest. There's plenty of ways of winning this one, you can use the boosters as I'm doing here, it's the, the best way of getting yourself a lead. You can use the rockets and you can get yourself like homing missiles against him and whatnot. It's not hard. Also, there's a blue balloon up there if you're willing to risk it, I guess, which I clearly was this time. There's also blue balloons and, well, various balloons over on the other sides there. I think it's um, in a square-like pattern. It's blue, red, blue, red. But, yeah, you don't really need them, to be honest. Even with the slowest character, you know, well, technically slowest sort of thing in Tip Top, it's um, easy enough to win this one, so long as you don't forget where you're going. And, yeah, he catches up relatively quickly, but again, I can get boosters, so you know what? It doesn't make a difference whether he catches up a little bit or not. Also, I'm not using the accelerator trick on that booster because as we found out already, it's a little bit too tricky to successfully get that going too many times. And there we go, that should be enough to easily win the race, as so long as I shield this bit. Because you really don't want to get hit there, it's just going, you know, spinning you out is really not a good thing. And there we go, a convincing victory on the first attempt because it's not hard in the slightest. At least not when you don't crash. And now, he's really not happy, but looks like his rocket is giving up on him. Uh-oh. No, it's firing without him saying so, and that's actually really good for us, obviously. And now he gets blasted off into space. Space. Yes, I'm going to do that one as well because, you know, it's just awesome. Polo 2 was great fun to watch. Don't think I would play it because it cost too much for me to get, but still, it's good fun to watch. And now it has... the rocket has crashed on another planet and he has successfully been removed from Earth. The Earth is saved. And now, now that we've saved the Earth, we are going to have a more extended party sequence, and this one is not going to get broken, because look at that over there! Taj's face is back on the world! He is officially the world leader again. And Tiptop is leading the parade, because he can. So yeah, there's Fog, I suppose, there's the Pterodactyl, is always awesome, because that's Dinosaur Land over there. I always thought somebody should be riding one of those, but you know, there's not really any other characters left that could do that when you um, when you see the full thing. And look at that, Pipsy's got the pink Triceratops baby person, because that's just awesome. I love how that Triceratops, you know, the small one that she's riding on, is just running forward, and the others are doing a little dance-like thing. That's just kind of weird. Also, cool butterflies are cool, really. But that's not over yet because we've not seen all the characters. And. Drumstick! Yay! Also, TT over there. Who's he? Why is he running that sort of distance there? I don't know. Also, Conker, how did you get the car up there? It's impossible to get the car up there. Ah, who cares? Now, here comes Dragonface and. Timber's riding Dragonface! Hey, dragon face with a dragon accent, as we've already said before. And now Diddy is riding the plane with that there. Of course, why the hell not? I mean, it has to end with Diddy in this little thing over here, doesn't it? Because it's Diddy Kong racing, come on, seriously. So yeah, we've restored peace to the world, Whizpig will no longer threaten the place, and it's all good. So... Menacing end, however, because I think they were actually planning. They, you know, they've left enough hints. They were probably planning on doing a sequel to this, but they never did, which is a big shame. I'd have loved to have seen this as a proper franchise, but 
at the same time, it was really nice just to have it as one, you know, a one-off thing, you know, because it was amazing, and no doubt if they did another one, it would have been screwed up somehow, so yeah. Anyway, we have to watch the first couple of things from the last credits as well, because it's a bit of overlap. They need to get everything in, so they had to, you know, use a couple extra races for it. That's fine. And yeah, we're going to see all the rest of them as we you know, party out to Crescent Island music, because Crescent Island is a pretty awesome place too. So yeah, Frosty Village was great though, I, I love that course, it's so cool. But yeah, we've already seen the credits before, so this is the end of the game, which is pretty freaking amazing, you know? Not taking very many parts, most of them have not been very long parts, and obviously that's a bit different from some of my other LP stuff, but... Yeah, it's a good throwback type of thing. I loved doing this, it was really not actually as hard as I remember it being, so maybe my thoughts of a challenge, quote unquote, on this were kind of ill, you know, ill realized, I think is probably the way of putting it. It wasn't as, nearly as much of a challenge as I expected it to be, but sometimes these things just go like that, and I am not that fussed. Because it was a good experience to show, and hopefully you guys have enjoyed it, despite it being totally out of the blue, and being a racing game as well. But you know, sometimes racing games are good to watch, especially if the person doesn't suck every single race. Except I kind of did fail on a few of them, so I can't really say that, but you know... The point is, it was still a very good thing to do, and... A nice quick LP as well, it's been a long time since I've finished one within three weeks, hasn't it? <laughs> yes, it's been a long time since I've finished an LP this sort of quickly, and you know, it would be nice if I could do that more often. But, all this really does is kind of look at what comes next, and what comes next is actually nothing right now. Yeah, see, they had the to-be-continued thing here as well, you would have expected him to do something with that, and you know, Vitamin B is a pretty freaking awesome code, it doesn't work in time trials for obvious reasons, but uh, yeah, now we see some time trial times, which are apparently some of the best you can set. I have not beaten all too many of these, but I, I think I've beaten some, but most of them I can't quite get up to. I'm actually glad Well, Bay I thought you had to do in less than a minute, but thankfully you don't. However, yes, yeah, some of them are very, very fast, and yeah, I can't beat all of them, but like, I can't do Snowball Valley in less than a minute, but I can beat the Frosty Village one, I think. Uh, Walrus Cove I have beaten, I know that much, because I did that in about 152. Uh, Haunted Woods I can't beat because I haven't done it in sub a minute yet, but I've beaten the Windmill Plains one. I've done that in sub two minutes. Probably Greenwood Village as well. I think I did that in 129 or something like that. So, or oh, 130. Then, yeah, Spaceport Alpha, I think I've beaten that one. Dartmoor Caverns, I'm about that time. 205 is somewhere around about what I had. And, yeah, I know I could have done better at that one though, so whatever. Anyway, again, we can't skip this thing off, but I'm just, as the very last thing before I wrap up this LP for good, I think I am going to just very briefly show off TT, and you know, I could probably beat a lot more of those times if I use TT instead of Tip Top for stuff, but Tip Top is awesome, and that is just how it goes. So yeah, TT... TT is basically drumstick speed with tipped up so Diddy's handling. He's exceptionally good and there really isn't very much reason not to use him if you're going to, you know, do stuff. Yeah, see my best time is not quite that yet, but let's see if we can beat, the, beat this thing using TT. You know, beat some, beat his own like super record using himself because that's it. But yeah, you can see on the speedometer he already starts off much faster. He gets a much better boost off of the um, off of the thingy. You know, the hovercraft like boosting stuff. He gets a much better acceleration thing than that. He's really good all around. Easily the best character of the game. And yeah, it's just. He's just kind of a bit too good, it would have made it way too easy for me to just use him all the time, because he is just amazing, really. And that's it. That's basically him in a nutshell, I think. 
I might as well do this. I'm going to do a one of each race with him just so you can see how he handles in all of them, but he is extremely fast and yeah, it's just kind of there, isn't it, really? So I'm going to do this one, I'm going to do Hot Top Volcano, and I'm going to do Haunted Woods, I think. That's a good mixture. So yeah, I did it in sub 20 second lap there. I could have possibly done that in sub a minute if I was faster on the first couple of laps, but yeah, TT is just exceptionally good for this, and there's nothing else to say to it. So, whilst I'm up here, let's do Hot Top Volcano first, so you can see how he handles in the plane. And then I'm going to do Haunted Woods and see if I can do sub a minute on that one. Now, there is a couple of slight differences when you do this in the um, time trial thing, because some of the hazards are not there, like in, um, in this one and in the other ones that are from this world. There's no dinosaurs here, so there's no chance of getting yourself caught by that at the very end, which is good. And yeah, you can see his speed is already way higher. It's almost freaking 90 as it's going along that. It's kind of crazy. Still not fast enough to get my fastest lap yet, however, but that's probably because of the start, you know? Having to, even though I get the boost at the start, it's still not some um, super fast finish type of thing, so yeah. And yeah, we, we, can, we know what this is going to be like, but still, you can see he is very, very sharp on the handling, which is, of course, very, very good. And yeah, there we go, lap record, sub 25 seconds. It's all very, very quick when you use him. You know, if you thought the AI didn't stand a chance in almost every race when I used Tipped Up, if I used TT, they would be even freaking worse off than they are, so... Yeah, it's, it's kind of there, isn't it, really? But yeah, 1 minute 15 point something, that's kind of fast, you know? Oh, okay, 1 minute 16, whatever, it doesn't make a difference, it's still the same sort of thing. And now the last one, so you can see his car handling. Haunted Woods, over here. Haunted Woods. 1 minute and 66 hundredths is what I have so far. Let's see you defeat this, TT, because you are TT. You must be able to win. So, yeah, instantly going up in the world and getting ourselves the bananas over here. That is fine. And I can get a speed boost there, but it's not really too effective. Whatever, let's restart that, because I want to get this done well. I really want to be able to break a minute on this course, because I know, of course it's possible, because that time trial time you saw at the end was like 58 seconds or something, so... Yeah, it's possible when the handling doesn't screw you up like that. Why was he turning to the... Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, this is all almost all just like filler stuff here, to be honest. You could have um, ended this a long time ago if you really wanted, but... Yeah, I'm, I suppose I should really try and say something about what I plan on doing next, and... Well, I don't actually plan on starting a new LP yet, because I want to get the Zelda one done. That of course means I am going to need more co-commentators for that because that one's more fun to do when other people are um, co-commentating as well, but you know, we'll get, we'll get to that one as it comes. But there are of course lots of lots of plans of what I want to do, but I do kind of need to wait until... Wait until I'm done a little bit for other stuff. As I was kind of mentioning in my uh, stream of UFO at the very end of it, I am wanting to wanting to persist and do the rest of the Toho games, so I'm going to be trying to do those soon, but they won't be taking up uh, main LP time in the same sense, because I want to... I want to actually get, like, successful runs of those done, and I don't know, you know, I don't want to delay putting videos up, so that's going to be, like, a side LP sort of thing. I'm probably going to start trying to do one of those pretty soon, but there we go. That's not too bad. Yeah, I'm going to start trying to do the next one pretty soon, but... Overall, they're not going to come as the only LP that's on the go, because I would kind of really, you know, just get myself frustrated over that because I probably won't do them first time and I want to be able to do I still want to be able to stick to doing a part of something per day so yeah that's kind of what it's going to be but 
Zelda's going to get finished and then other stuff is going to start, which I'm not going to spoil at the moment because some people already know, others don't, and I want to keep it that way because I can. So there. Yeah, I, I, I'm I, just going to do that. So this has been Gamer Cow finishing up on Diddy Kong Racing, and join me next time for, well, me and probably somebody else, more Zelda stuff. So yeah, good times are going to be ahead. Thank you for watching this, hope you enjoyed the LP, and stay tuned for the next one. See you later. I'm just going to let this play out, by the way, because we've not seen it yet, I don't think. So yeah, you don't have to stay and watch if you don't want to.